Everyone has that one friend that is always complaining, always blaming what is happening in their lives on others. Their boss is against them. Their friends are against them. Their family is against them. Even the world sometimes is against them based on them. That's how they feel no matter what is happening. Every conversation somehow turns to be about them. When you're out at dinner, when you're on the phone, when you're messaging, when you're watching a movie, they find a way to make everything about what they're going through. You may feel the need to protect your energy and your mental health. Being around this energy constantly can be draining and tiring. It's not that you judge your friend or dislike them, but you realize that you need to take care of yourself. The first thing we need to do is put on our own armor. Every day we're being hit with other people's emotions, opinions, and negativity. Just as a warrior puts on physical armor, we need to put on mental and emotional armor. Just as physical armor protects us from bullets and arrows and swords, mental and emotional armor protects us from negativity. This includes our own meditation practice. It includes working out. It includes doing the things that bring us joy independently of anyone else. It includes doing something daily that makes you happy. Reading books, listening to podcasts, having meaningful conversations that strengthen our armor. This strengthens your energy so that you can deal with everyone else's energy. The second thing we need to do is take a look at how much time we spend in uplifting and inspiring environments and how much time we spend in negative environments. The more time we spend with negative people, the more likely we are to feel negative. When you walk into a restaurant, no matter what happens, when you walk out, you carry the scent of that place. It's an unconscious adoption. Similarly, people's energy clings on to you when you're in the same spaces, places, and areas. We have to be aware of what energy we're surrounded by. The third step is to create more positive experiences in your life. You cannot just plan to avoid the bad. You have to plan to experience the good. The deeper, more powerful experiences you have. You remember the bad times more than the good times. Because when you're struggling, you cry for a week. But when you succeed, you celebrate for a day. And fourth, use it to build a powerful foundation of qualities. Use this to build empathy, compassion and gratitude. You were once in that negative place and only saw walls and barriers and boundaries. Today you see a vast sky. Find new ways to learn and grow. For every one person in our life that's bringing us down, we need to find three or four people that are lifting us up. For every one person that we're helping up, we need three people bringing us up. When we manage our life in that way, we're guaranteed not only to be lifted ourselves, but to help others with us. Remove the negativity and make space for the good. Mm -hmm.